Hello, day 23, the penultimate day of Vlogmas. I think we're all going to be crying on Christmas Day morning when we have no more Vlogmas videos to watch. Caveat, I will actually have loads to watch and it'll probably take me up until at least the end of January to catch up with them all, but there you go. Um, so today, um, I woke up very early. Should I say my eldest son woke me up very early. He is an early riser and he is coming into my bedroom at the moment and going, I call it my bedroom because I'm still in the spare room, by the way. Um, I'm trying to get as much out of that as I possibly can. Um, keeps coming in the morning and saying, is it okay for me to get up now? <laughs> what is wrong with you, child? Just get up whenever you want. But <laughs> it's because sometimes he'll get up at like five o'clock and I'm like, you, you're having a laugh now, Jack. Give it up. Anywho, so I woke up mega early this morning, I was woken up, and I thought, my first thought was like, I could get my South Bank sweater dress finished to wear today. I could just do it now, because it's so quick to make. I made it a little bit more difficult for myself, because when I cut the pattern out, I just winged it, and I didn't pattern match. I didn't work out whether I could match the patterns on the sleeves and the cuffs and you know the neck and it band and everything um so then when i was putting it together this morning i was kind of like can i make this work i'm just allowed to show you something oh I, oh i can oh yes i can i mean it's a little tiny bit out but you know don't look too close <laughs> oh let me let me just show you let me just show you that let me just show you this. I mean, come on. I've even done it on the hemband. But don't look too closely to the hemband, right? I'll, I'll stand up. I'm just letting you know as well that I'm completely embracing the mum-tum situation right now. I have made two human beings inside my body and my stomach wants to be known to the world right now. Who cares? I've had two children. You see? This bit here. Ooh. It's even held in by snag tights. But anyway, uh, I can't, I need to stand on a chair, but if I stand on this chair, I'll fall off. Let me see if I can pull you down a little bit, look. Oh, my old thing's gonna fall off now. Wait a minute, hanger banger. Right, can you, can you, oh, ignore that pile of rubbish. Right, I'm gonna lift it up. It's getting a bit outrageous, isn't it? Can you notice the error? <laughs> I'm literally gonna flash my pants, aren't I? I'm just not gonna do it. I'll maybe show you a close up later. Basically, I've put this on the wrong way round. So the cable knit goes down on all of this and it goes up on that bit. Yeah. Oh well. Never mind, eh? You can't win them all. Who's gonna look at the bottom of my hem? And actually, I saw let me just make you a bit more straight. As someone said on my vlog the other day, if someone's gonna look at your hem that much, they need to get a life. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm very happy. With the rest of it my last one i had to take in slightly probably because i was smaller then <laughs> but this fabric as well isn't as stretchy i think i got this fabric from beyond the pink door can't quite remember but anyway i made a harper cardigan out of the navy for my mum for christmas last year and i loved it that much i had to get it for myself and the good thing about it is the inside of it's like silky so it doesn't catch on your tights Oosh. So yeah, I'm just embracing the closeness of this dress today. Who cares? So yeah, I'm off to my dad's. Off to my dad's for a couple of hours. Then I'm coming home, dropping the kids off, picking my mum up, and we're going to a to get all of the Christmas food. <coughs> Dread to think what it's going to be like. That it'll be absolutely manic. But you know, hey ho. So we'll quickly do. Say this lot time quickly. We'll just quickly do this. I don't do anything quickly, do I? Uh, Carrying the machines. A second to last day. So we want number 23 today. And it's there, look, it's a doggy sat on a little cushion. Oh, I love him. Oh, I love his little cotton socks. Let's dive, dive into this. Let's have a look. <laughs> They're good. <laughs> Can you see that? It says, not for sale. <laughs> I love that. It actually says it on both sides as well. That's really cute. So you can put it inside a... Um, your um collar or you could put it in a side seam even or even on the bottom of like a um handband or whatever love that 
I like the fact that they're bright red as well, so people will really look at those, won't they? Right, let's put those away. I have actually used one in the back of my, um, of this. I used this one because I just thought the colours went really well together, the yay one. Yay! So I was quite, yay, I got it finished. I mean, once you get on with the South Bank sweater, seriously, if you if you do it on the overlocker, I mean, you're talking no time whatsoever, particularly if you don't have to pattern match and all that, I mean, you could probably wang it together in, I don't know, 45 minutes? I think I need to cut some more out. Anywho, right, Beyond the Pink Door is next. Let's get number 23 out. Not going to say it again, what I say every day about it. 23, let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, brilliant. Now, I actually have one of these, and it's really funny because I've actually got two. One of them stuck down the side of my <laughs> table, and I can't bother to get it out. Um, and that one has like a, a point turner on it as well. Point pointer outer, not a point turner. That's a technical term, by the way. Um, now, when I did my bedroom, God's sake, sewing room, sewing room people, I'm not going to edit, you know what I'm like. Um, the only thing I haven't done is the flooring. So I had a cheap carpet down and I cut all the edges away so that I could um, paint all the skirting boards easily because I was going to replace the carpet. But then I kind of thought, mm, do I actually want to put, um, I know it sounds daft, but some cheap lino down instead because it'd be so much easier for cleaning up. And I've got a wheelie chair and I have to have like a big mat in f down from Ikea so that I can wheel my chair about. So I'm thinking about just putting some cheap lino down. Don't know. What do you think, people? Um, so it's stuck down the side, but it's stuck into, you know, the carpet treads that have got all the jabby bits in. So I'm not, I ain't going down there. And then yesterday, I have got another one. I normally have it on my sewing board. I'm putting it over here because that's where my sewing board, board is. Ironing board. <sighs> Ironing board. It's the morning. I've slept. I've not had a drink. I don't know what's wrong with it. Anyway, it's normally on my ironing board. And yesterday, I don't know if you saw it in my vlog when I fast forwarded it all. I was literally like, where is it? Where has it gone? Um, and I can't find it. And it's that one. So, Andrea, did you take it? Did you steal it? So that this would be an extra surprise for me this morning. Hmm? Hmm. How did you know? So if I find the other one, bonus, because I like to have what, this sounds ridiculous, I like to have one right next to my sewing machine, right next to my overlocker and on my ironing board, um, because I use them that often. Now, I've, had, I've been sewing for nearly eight years and I've pretty much had the same machine the whole time and I still have to get this out to work out <laughs> where my seam needs to go because I like to sew with my needle in the middle position. So then I have to constantly do this and use it to work it out. And I know you can put sellotape on and masking tape and not masking tape, what do you call it? Washi tape and stuff like that. And people have got loads of different ideas, but I constantly switch between the two because I'm fickle like that. Um, so I just use this. Anyway, another waffling story that you really didn't know and we're nearly nine minutes in, but anyway. So I'm going to go now. I'm going to go and um, get the boys ready. I can hear them already fighting. Um, get the shoes on, get over to my dad's and then I'll try and catch up with you again later. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. I didn't do any footage whatsoever. It's been carnage. I've been to see my dad and then I've been to m and to pick up all of the Christmassy stuff with my mom. So I'm back now. I'm gonna, I've got the drill for my husband because he's feeling a bit better now. So the jobs are coming out, you know what I'm saying? So he's gonna put my shelves up in the spare room for me. Oosh. So we can have some light in there because we've got um, somebody staying on Boxing Day night. So that'd be nice to get the lamps up, get the side table thingies done. So that room will be complete, which will be lovely. Um, so I've just quickly nipped upstairs. I've got a couple of presents still to wrap. Um, Because I haven't wrapped Steve's yet. We're only getting token presents for each other. So I've got his presents here. Shall I show, shall I show you them? He don't watch my videos, it doesn't matter. He don't matter, he don't watch them. If he does, it's a bit of an issue now, isn't it? 
picked up, I don't know if I've told you, but my husband decided on a bit of a whim last January that he was going to become a vegan. So I talked about reducing our meat, meat content as a family and blah, 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 blah. And he had to go a step further and decide to become a vegan. So both things that I've got him as a token present are vegan related. I'm so sorry if I offend vegans. It's just a joke. This is just a joke. My best friends are vegan. My husband's a vegan. They're all vegans. And I have no issue with it, but I just thought this was hilarious. <laughs> I think I'm funny, don't I? It says, vegan, ruining family gatherings. He did see this a long time ago and thought it was really funny. And I just went, oh, it's just stupid. Mm. And I was like, put that on my list for Christmas. But then on a serious note, he does try lots of different vegan recipes and then we forget which ones we like, which ones we don't. So I've got him a personalised vegan recipe book. That is my husband, Steve's vegan recipes. And then when you open it up inside, it's got, it's actually quite good because Sometimes I say he's the only vegan I know who doesn't eat many vegetables. It actually tells you everything that is plant-based for protein, which is really good because obviously you need to try and make sure you're covering that in your diet. So I'm going to show him that and say every every single recipe you have in here has to include some of these things. So yeah, it's all about beans and pulses and how to soak them and how long it takes and things like that. And then inside, it's got... Look at me trying to hold this in a really weird position. Um, a thing that just says recipe, prep time, um, a photo or an illustration. <laughs> I'm having a laugh now thinking about my husband drawing a picture of his dinner and <laughs> illustration. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be good. Uh, ingredients and then the method and then any notes. So what I thought, because he um, gets um, loads of magazines and then he looks things up online, he prints them out and we've got sheets of paper everywhere. And I thought this would be quite good because then he can, if we like them, if we don't like them, we'll chuck the piece of paper in recycling. If we do like them, then he can write them up in here and then we can use this for reference when we come to do our food planning every week for our shop. Very practical of me, I know. So, like I say, we're only doing token presents. So, that's his. So, I've got to get that wrapped up now. So, that's my plan. Um, <clears throat> and then I've just been sat thinking to myself, what can I do sewing related? What can I do now? And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a bit of cross stitch. Um, the finish is, I've got nothing else cut out now, have I? So I'm thinking, <clears throat> what time is it now? It's 4pm. I'm thinking I'm going to leave it, I think, until the day after Boxing Day. I'm going to plan what I want to make. Because um, I know I've talked about the Paddington blouse and the patina. I'd also like to make a couple of jumpers as well. I keep thinking about that pink um sweat in it that's just so soft and beautiful i quite fancy making something out of that um so i might knock up a couple of jumpers as well because they're so quick and easy to make aren't they mm. so i think i'm gonna do that and then hopefully cut them out maybe the day after boxing day so that i've got a few projects in my drawer um and concentrate on doing some of the cross stitches i haven't done the one for my mother-in-law in time i knew i wouldn't the last couple of nights i've been so tired i just haven't done anything when i've watched the telly i've just been like i'm out um, so I'm going to keep going with that though and do it ready for next Christmas and put it away. Um, and I'm going to do, I'm going to say the same thing I say every Christmas. I'm going to start early on Christmas presents for next year. I will for January and then I won't ever do anything again from February to November. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and enjoy some time downstairs with the boys, do a bit of cross stitch. Um, they are currently doing another Lego marathon with Jack's birthday present stuff downstairs. Um, so it's all over the living room floor. You can't even see it. But they're enjoying it. That's all that matters. So I need to get all their Christmas Eve stuff ready. Um, I used to do like a box for them for every Christmas Eve with loads of crafting things in and stuff like that. But do you know what? They're rubbish. It's something about boys. They're just not that bothered about crafting. So I end up sat at the table with them and then they end up sneaking off somewhere and I'm just sat there doing all their crafting. It's not happening. So I've only got a couple of bits for them, paper chains and stuff like that. And they've got them both a onesie and a hot chocolate thing and some chocolates and stuff. So that's all I've done for Christmas Eve. That's it. That is it. Oh, and their cushion that I made them as well. So I'm going to give that to them um, tomorrow morning. Yum, 
excited. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's about it for today. I'm sorry, guys, there wasn't really much sewing content and stuff in it, but I actually did sew this morning. I sewed. It's doing me head in that bit there. Let's stick up right, will you? Stop it. I finished this off, which is absolutely wonderful. I even took photos. They're not the most flattering of photos, but it's real life people. I have a mum tum and a big old butt right now. <laughs> Just gotta accept it for what it is, you know? So I'm gonna sign off for today and I will see you lovely people, hopefully for the last Vlogmas tomorrow. <laughs> I would also like, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm signing off and then unsigning myself off. I would love some suggestions downstairs about the sort of thing that you want to see from my channel going forward. I obviously do things sporadically. You know me, I don't edit very well and I just wang it out there. Um, so it's very ad hoc. Um, <clears throat> but I think from watching Vlogmas, the feedback I've had is that people have really enjoyed this type of thing. Now I'm not saying I can vlog every day because it is hard work. It's really enjoyable, but it's hard work, the whole editing. But I'm wondering if you wanted more of this type of thing going forward. If you do, let me know. Or if there's anything else that you think would be really good to have as content on my channel, let me know. I can't promise that I'll do it all, <laughs> but I'd really like to know your opinion. So feel free to pop some comments down below. And I'll sign off now. Hope everybody's well, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.